All right, so right now um, I'm going to go through her like lower torso kind of hip joint. I know that's a very annoying spot for a lot of people, uh, especially like me, because I know I had a lot of problems when I had her, uh, when I got her for the first time. And knowing a couple little things here and there on how the joints looks like and how it works uh, helps out a lot. So you can understand there's a couple things you don't want to do uh, right off the bat because of the fact of, of how the, um, the the frame, the inner frame works. A bit of annoyance. I don't know why they designed it like this. They should have done it a different way. Uh, Volks in that in that respond. And so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take off her bodysuit, and then I'm gonna get to that. So from here, um, I gotta warn you, there is doll nudity because I'm gonna take off her bodysuit now. She has her bodysuit on her, and this is the version two. That's why it's tucked into her arms. So you really don't see it. So um, all right. So sorry, I'm gonna have to pop off Miku's head to make this a little bit easier. And the cool thing about this new bodysuit is how this other part of the suit itself tucks in. And so that makes it really seamless. I know I have had a couple people uh, be a bit worried because I have her in a, I had her in a cat suit. Now she's in her regular outfit. And they were a bit worried that um, it, I'm going to stain the doll. And as you can see, I don't have any staining on her. And that's because I have the bodysuit, of course. Um... And it tucks in the version two, really cool. Anyways, first off, one of the main things that I realized is when you grab them by the legs, like you know, or by the midsection, one of the things you don't want to do is extend the legs out really far without putting pressure right here on this ball joint. And the reason being is because if you just grab it from right here and push it out, you have you run a very high risk of the peg that goes this way throughout this lower part of the torso um it's just a peg and it's just pressure fit and so when that peg gets pulled when you pull on this farther out you slowly start to loosen it from that area or sometimes if you like try to like grab them from right here to like pose their feet or whatever grab them from right here then you run the risk of of these two points push pulling and pushing outwards and making that annoying peg come out <laughs> and so that's one of the things I, I recommend being careful with is like if you try to move the legs what I do is I try to put like some pressure up here at at both joints because it's just pressure fitted on both joints or so or grab it with this hand to make sure it's firm and then with this one to make sure only the joint the ball joint moves you can kind of hear it with that one and the same thing with this side because as soon as this joint area starts to come loose you would start running into some major headaches. Again, I don't know why they designed it like this, but um, yeah, that's how, sorry, you're gonna hear me ranting a little bit on this one. All right, now let's get down to the bare body. Um, and of course, now that I'm taking off the body stocking, big warning, make sure your hands are clean because now you're going straight to the doll itself. Let me take off the mid section, pops right off. You just put pressure right here. Make sure you put some good pressure so that way the body can flex. Remember, it is a soft vinyl. So you can give it a little bit of give, but don't watch with your nails. Don't want, you don't want to put no pinching on it. So that way that joint comes right off. Not too worried about that. So here, here is your annoying part. And here is the headache. Is So like I was saying, it's just a joint. And you can go a bit of a distance. But as soon as you start, sorry for the angles here. But as soon as you start going too far out, Come on, focus for me. Um, you can see right there where it's starting to come out. So that means you're starting to go a little bit too far. You're going to want to make sure that comes right back. And then you have it nice and even. Um, again, sorry for the dull nudity. Sorry for that. Uh, let me take off the, the body frame so it doesn't look as awkward. And so you're just going to pinch it. I just give a little bit of a wiggle. Pops out. And then same thing with this side. The, the point they want you to grab is right here above the belly button and right here at the arch of the back. If you pinch that a bit, it'll give you enough to grab on and pop it up. Now you can see the <laughs> the lazy way um, I added to it. Uh, and I don't recommend it unless you don't care. Like I don't care because I'll just clean this out with some, um, what's going to call it? Uh, some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Okay. I don't mind if it gets a little gooey or tacky. Um, cause this is mine after all. Um, so not too worried about it, but you can see how 
much harder it is to get out now that it's a bit tacky and I had just a piece of tape to uh, fix this problem I was having. And the problem is, like I said, you have both, focus for me buddy, the problem is, is you have both joints like this. And so when you start to push them out too far, or if they just get wiggled out over time, they'll just pop right out, pop right out. And so your main problem is this darn peg. The next part of annoyance, grab your body. Oh, they're not going to grab it, but you're just going to want to push up and then push in towards the side. And then there is like this little pop out little peg structure. And again, so it's, you can kind of push it up like that and then just poke it through the back side, and then this body part of the frame should come right out. The next part of freaking annoyance with this is it's keyed. So as you can see, there is about a eighth, no, not eighth, two quarters. There's like about a third quarter little thing right there. And that lines up with this peg right here. Now, you'd be thinking, why would you need that? It really doesn't matter, but that's because of uh, when it's keyed like that, it'll lock into this frame, and then instead of moving the whole thing, it will just move that ball joint. And so if you don't have that ball joint keyed, this will never run flush, like how it's supposed to. It'll keep moving about. And that's where a lot of annoyance comes from as well. Um, and it took me a while to get that stuff down, and so when you have it like this, have it like that, then you're going to want to pinch right here. And again, I was being lazy. And I just put a piece of tape on it because I was tired of it. It was a long day and I just wiggle them both together. And I do, I do, I don't warn you, I do put a lot of pressure. And then to get it fit nice and straight. And I, again, sorry for the angles, but kind of got to put them together like that. And here we go. And that's how you get them to fit. And again, I'll pop this peg out. And see, it's still held in there pretty dang good. Now we can get this shot. You see how it is now flush with it and it is keyed up properly. And this one should do the same too. Oh, if I take the middle peg out. Okay. Take the middle peg out. I'm just going to do it without the peg this time. Oop. All right. And there, this time, it's without the middle peg, but it'll still hold it, you know. But now, I'll run into the risk if I go too far, it'll just pop out super easy. And then, so again, if the if the, your little keyed way, if this little, you know, section of it is not lined up with it properly, it'll have issues, you know, popping back into place. And then, with this freaking peg... Um, I was thinking at one point to 3D print it a little bit longer, just so that way um, it'll just have more, um, more, more spot to grab onto from the sides, you know, which would work, but then like the offset for both of the, the leg positionings would be wider, you know? And so, um, like you could do that. And that's what I was saying really was like 3D printing one and then just going through with like the very, the very fine, uh, sandpaper for like the cars, the like the 1,000 grit or so or whatever, and then just, just shaving it down and trying it and then shaving it down and then trying it and then shaving it down and trying it. Um, now, if you're able to somehow get more pegs like this, uh, the other thing I could think of is the old school way of like old action figures. Um, and what they would do is you just get um, super glue. And again, this is at your own, your own discretion, at your own way. And so you get the super glue and just to add like millimeters upon millimeters of just something extra for it to grab onto is you just put just a just a drop just a you know just a little drop of it just so there's a very fine coat you know all around the surface then you let it dry and then so now you have a surface on it and so that's kind of what i did with the tape was i just put a little thing of tape a little thing of tape on this i just so it's slightly bigger just so it's so much more tighter into the thing um and then when i put it in there and everything in there so that'll be a nice you know snug fit whereas this when you first get it is really uh loose uh, i mean it it's a good fit but for me like any movement you know any movement that i would do and it, the leg would just pop off and i would just get so freaking annoyed and so i got tired of that <laughs> so that's why i put tape in that day because i was just done with it you know and so um 
there was that idea I had of just putting the little drop and then sanding it and then trying it and then another little drop and then sanding and drying it. But the problem with that is you have to do that over and over and over again. And then you would be running into modifying uh, this original part. And I know some people are not going to want to do that. And so that's the other thing. The other thing I was thinking about doing was just going down to the um, arts and crafts store or whatever. And then just taking this with me and then getting a, a wooden dowel and then getting this leg and then trying it. And it, of course, get one that's slightly bigger and then sand it and then try it until it's like nice and secure fit. That was the other thing I was trying Um and the other thing I was thinking about doing, but um, as far as I could think of, just putting a piece of tape on it and not caring about it because it's mine, uh, my Dolphy Dream at the end of the day. So I really don't care about that. You're really never going to see it. And yeah, I mean, you could say it's a bit gunky, dirty, or messy, but um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol with some Q-tips, th that'll clean that up. I'm really not worried about this part of the doll itself. And so, um, all right, again, I'll try to run through this real quick. So... Oh yeah, one thing you want to do too is, is make sure these guys get lined up. So you're going to want to, you know, push that in all the way into the peg. And then make sure it's up and against the body. And you could pinch this ball joint to make sure you got it where you want it. And then grab the keyed, the keyed way of this, like that. And then I just like to line it up with this. And I give it a good press because I am annoyed of this freaking joint. All right. And when I feel like it's in, you know, then we're good. You know? Oh, wait. I forgot to put it back in the body. And to put this back into the body, you could do whichever side. It doesn't matter. But this little back, little structure, that's on the back. And then this little front forward-looking arch is on the front. So you just pop it in. And it should just go right into place. And then to keep it there... You're going to want to put pressure on that back. So now you can see where I put that pressure on her. Okay, now let's try that again. So make the, make sure this is all the way down. Put pressure. You can see me putting pressure on that. And then push this in. Until that key joint is up in there. Okay, so there's that one leg. And then same thing with this side is grab this inner structure the the body frame and until it's like protruding a bit out like so and then grab the other leg in this case her leg and pinch it at the same point and sorry i'm looking through both at the same time and then i just wiggle it back and forth until I feel like I got it. Again, it's kind of a blind, awkward area moment. But when I could sit her down like that, that's when I know that she is solid. And again, you're going to want to grab and turn. And turn it. And turn it. Like that. Or one leg at a time. Make sure you have constant pressure. I just like to have constant pressure. And I know where her frame is. Once you know like where the frame is at, that does help out a lot too. Um, you know... And like I said, don't be too afraid, um, especially once you have the the body stocking on them. Um, I can't recommend this enough because it prevents so much staining and so much headaches. Because I had a big headache when I put a suit, another outfit on her, only for like five minutes or less just to take pictures. And she had a little stain that really upset me. But um, anyways, um, so now you can see the joint is fine. It's still pretty solid in there. You don't see it as much that extra little gap where it'd be showing and then from time to time I just press them in um, and this main hip is a ball joint this main hip is a ball joint uh, trying to get this main frame of leg out big pain big pain in in, in the neck man um, I have taken it out before just to mess it a little bit but nothing too much but um, that's all I could think of for right now and so I hope this helps so now I'm gonna put Miku back together and so that's all I got for this one, so I uh, hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.